What's up, everybody? It's another episode of the Art Bros. Bros talk about art. Yeah. Not taking it too seriously though, because yeah. we love art. Um, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah. Oh, I am Mike. As always, I have Fancy Dave mm -hmm. and Patrick. Hello. And we love talking about cool things that make the art world. And today we're talking about something that you definitely recognize. Yep. Makes you think when you see it. Certain squatting oh. fellow. Yeah. <laughs> called The Thinker. Um, a lot of people probably don't know this, but it's made by an artist named Auguste Rodin. Mm -hmm. Rodin? Is, am I saying it right? Rodin's that pterodactyl from the Godzilla series, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're right. So how am I, is it uh, August, August Rodin? Rodin? Did you Rodin? take French, Mike? I did. Four <laughs> years yeah. of basic French just like failing me right now. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, guys, the name is right there. Pronounce it how you will. So everyone knows this piece. Patrick, you know this piece. I do know this piece. Yeah, well, it's been like constantly referred to in like media. I'm pretty sure I first saw it in an episode of Animaniacs. Pretty oh, sure I did man. too. This is constantly <laughs> referenced and all that. Yeah, this isn't. It is. This it's is very, in a lot of places. It is very like it's, it's very represented in all sorts of media, especially what it it's meant to not meant. I'm sorry. What people kind of associated with now is for philosophy. Mm-hmm. Like mm -hmm. this guy thinking, I've seen him on the crapper thinking. Yeah, there's that joke and all that. Yeah, that's pretty. I mean, I, dude, I've struck that pose ma many times just going for a poo. I never, like, I've never done that. No, you've but never like, done that. Oh, I man. do full like put it resting my head on my fingers, like, you know, with oh, man. like both my elbows on my knees. I don't know what <laughs> is about like that porcelain beauty of a beast that is the toilet, but like I have some of my best ideas when I'm on the toilet. And I kind, of, I kind of feel like the thinker justifies that, you know? I think they should make a modern version where he has a smartphone. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm looking at my uh, Snapchats here. Yeah. He's, he's just like... He's, he's, no, he's, he's taking a selfie. He's Snapchatting on the toilet. They should make a new one where he's taking a selfie. Mm -hmm. There you go. Called mm -hmm. the selfie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sure. Anyways, um, what's uh, really funny about this piece is that it was based off a relief from a doorway that was called the Gates of Hell, and it was commissioned by, I believe, the French government for a museum that was never made. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the museum was never made because uh, Rodin apparently kept kept working on this on this thing for on and off, you know, like a bad relationship, just on and off. Oh, was that the reason why they, like, that specific? I don't think that was the it, full reason okay. why the place was never made, but, like, that's, like, apparently this piece was just, it was never finished. Okay, I was imagining, like, this one piece was why they couldn't do it. They were like, dude, Rodin, seriously, man? How long? How long? Yeah, dude, we're come waiting, on, bro. We're waiting on you, okay? So, um, the relief, the doorway was made in 1880, but this thinker did not exist as we know it until 1904. Isn't this is only a part of that relief, right? This exactly. particular sculpture. Well, I mean, he took that part of the relief and mm -hmm. made it its own piece. Like, this is much bigger than the relief is. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so, like, it's pretty much, this is, this is a spinoff. Like, if the relief was Friends, this was Joey. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Yeah. That's right, Joey. Joey, Joey was all right. Yeah. <laughs> Joey was all right. Yeah, so um, the relief itself, the Gates of Hell, was based on the divine comedy of Dante, otherwise known as Dante's Inferno. Oh, that's awesome. Which yeah. is an awful game, awful God of War cl clone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Visceral Games. Yeah. Word. Brought to you by EA. But, man, that's really neat that, that how, like, the idea of the, I did not know about the spinoff, though, how it was part of a bigger piece. It is a spinoff. You know? And now, like, um, since, since then, since it was made, it's been remade 28 times, like, in different casts, apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, if, I hope I'm saying that right. Different cast? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's been cast in multiple versions, and it's, like, all over the place now. There's, like, I think there's, like, officially, like, 28 um, monumental sized ones in all over the place, all over the museums and public places all over the place. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. if, if it's like, it's a spinoff that created like a bunch of other spinoffs. It's everywhere yeah. and nowhere. Yes. It's a spinoff of a spinoff. So it's like, oh, zip it. We like, you know, you got a spinoff so you can spin off all your spinoff. Mm. Or Inception, you know, spinoff oh. and a spinoff. Or Pimp Your Ride. Exhibit. I just, I, wait, wasn't this piece done just, by Exhibit? Wasn't just, this piece? Yeah. Oh damn! You did. You said I thought. I thought. I thought you said Inception. <laughs> I don't 
<laughs> okay, well, anyway, our minds are so entwined. They are. I can't stop thinking about you, Mike. I think that's why. Dave. I think that's why that happened. Dave. What? When you think, when you see the thinker, what do you think? Thinking. Yeah. Oh, you see thinking. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, deep thoughts. And that's it. That's it. Yeah. What is he wondering about? I should have bought dairy. Mm hmm. <laughs> Think, you know what? What's funny is when I see this piece, like in all seriousness, when I do see this piece, and I remember it for a work of art rather than a pop culture joke, mm -hmm. I it does kind of like just the detail, the detail in the figure. You know, I'm sure he's life size. The you can just see the mus the muscles, how how really developed they are. You know, obviously time was taken on this piece. Um, I don't really see it for all the details. I see it for what it represents. Mm -hmm. you know? It represents a uh, philosophy. It represents deep thought. It represents, like, you know, I just think of like man, like how man can be lost so much in their in their head, in like these thoughts that they just can't seem to comprehend. Like that's what I think. Yeah, yeah. It definitely highlights kind of like the sense of like the common day daydreaming that like a lot of students or just people in general go through today. You know. You say daydreaming. I say worrying. You say worrying? Yeah. Uh, yeah, when I see this guy, well, yeah, his worrying. pose. Yeah, his pose is definitely, a, yeah, it's definitely a sense you know, of worrying. It's probably because his back is hunch, so hunched over on in this position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of gives I, that feeling of, like, being a little tense. Yeah, yeah. and I definitely think, the tension in his muscles. Mm -hmm. like, there's definitely a lot of... Maybe, well, well, maybe he sees, like, like someone good, good, good looking. He's yes, like, oh, man, man, I better... Uh, I, gotta I don't look. know, man. I, I think this guy lifts. At least yeah, 500. Yeah, maybe a little bit. He's, you know what he's thinking? You know what he's thinking? Do you even lift, bro? Yeah. That's what he's no, he's been, no, he's, he doesn't lift. He's been on that toilet for, like, God knows, since 1904. So it's, yes, been, exactly. it's, been, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's but, prairie dogging. <laughs> I mean, I guess the thing that, that sways me, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and that, the thing that sways me from uh, the, the sense of, like, worrying, I guess, is the title. You know, it's like the thinker. You True. Know? True. It, it just it just seems like much. Uh, I, it kind of comes down. You a viewer takes it as 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 you see it or how you view it is pretty much when when I look at it, I just think of you know just like thought process. You mm -hmm. know, just thinking and you know how much daydreaming you do. You know, that's true. That's mm -hmm. fun. That's yeah. I never even thought that. Hey, um, why do you guys think that you know this is part of the relief of the gates of hell? Why would, why, why would the, why would Rodan make this the centerpiece of this doorway? You know, like the thinker when he's when he's referring to Dante's Inferno. I don't know, maybe uh, contemplating I, a sin. Maybe, maybe that yeah, was yeah, that's what I would think. I'm not I'm not too familiar with Don, with uh, Dante's Inferno, other than it has to do with like the seven circles of hell and all that. But yeah, I, I'm gonna yeah, I would say something like along the lines of David or something. You know? I I would say like he's he's kind of like thinking back on his life maybe. Yeah. yeah so Will like, I be damned? Wait, is it is is this supposed to be Dante? Is that Dante? The uh, thinker? No, um, it, not specifically Dante. Okay. But it is a centerpiece of this relief. Uh, is a centerpiece relief of this doorway called the Gates of Hell. So it could be, maybe. I don't think it is, but you know, it's it's up to however you want to interpret it. So, mm -hmm. right, so um, final thoughts on the thinker. What do you guys think? Uh, you know me, man. Oh, I was about to say, Patrick, <laughs> go ahead. Oh, oh, all right. Well, well, the thing that I find really cool about this is the shift of context that it had uh, from its origin to like how it's viewed today. Yeah. You know, it started out as the centerpiece in this in this gates of hell, really like extreme sculpture, and now when you separate it from the rest and just put it by itself, it becomes much more um, like one on one rather than one on a bunch of people. Dave, mm -hmm. you know me, man. I like it. <laughs> uh, it's it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Anything else, Dave? Uh, you know, looking at it more, you know, for more than a couple seconds, really. Um, uh, I do like it. It does make you think. Uh, 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 there. Oh God, I feel like this is such like a punny episode. I think I've heard you guys say "think" so many times. I know. Know that. And you just broke a record. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> All right, guys. Wait, Mike, what do you think? What oh, do you what do I think? think? Yeah, what I, do you think? I, I honestly, like, 
when you take it, like you, you know, I agree with you, Pat. When you take it away from its source material, it kind of stands on its own. I've only been introduced to it on its own, but for me, the sense of like this guy is honestly worrying about. He seems like he's he's deep in thought about like maybe his past life, his sins. You know, there's like a sense of tension and worry that only come from the detail that Rodan put into like the the anatomy and the muscles. You know, like all those muscles seem to be activated so accurately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They seem to be so tense. So I'm just like anytime I look at it, like you think daydreaming, but I I just see worrying. I see like stress. You know, and I think it's like it's a piece that we can all relate to because like we're all we're all stressed out. Mm. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, you know I like that even though like I had no idea it was from a such a kind of like morbid piece that had to do with death and sin. I still got that kind of macabre feeling from it. Yeah. Oh, I've got to say as well, it's aged really well. Okay. I kind of feel like it's still relatable to today mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah, which is cool. All right, guys. So. Um, if you like us, please subscribe. Um, we got to shout out people that have been loving our episodes. Thank you, guys. We'll keep making these these awesome shows for you. So from Mike, Fancy Dave, and Patrick, we will see you next time here on the Art Bros. Bye. Bye. Bye.